So my guess is since the lady over there had it and I ordered one of those, this is it. So I think this is probably spicy, sour um, noodles with maybe some beef or even some pork or something like that in there. You can see beans in there. And there's I almost drove by this bridge until I noticed what was under it. There he has shade and water. He was lying down a few moments ago, just his head above the water. Just had another great lunch and was joined by a couple. Uh, he from Italy, Luca, and Perrine, who's from France, but whose parents were Algerian, her mother, and her father, Vietnamese and Cambodian, Cambodian. is my Yang Shuo second day. Um, I'm going to Moon Hill. I've just moved into a new um, hostel called CNC for the same amount, 30 UN for two nights, 35 for just one. Uh, so far I have this two, four, six bedroom uh, all to myself. It's a beautiful room, nicely painted, nicely appointed. With uh, Nice bathroom, homey view. But here's the building next door being constructed. Here you can see how they've laid these forms out, these blocks on top of uh, posts. See down there in the right hand portion? It's all on a network of stilts, if you will. They build those and now in between those. Rebar that's come up from a cement post vertical to tie in this rebar they just dropped off this morning onto those vertical ones, pour cement in those uh, rectangular uh, traceways, if you will, and that will form the uh, skeleton of the next floor. Here's a man who's responsible for putting up this whole system here, he and the fellow working with him, and they have these large bundle of uh, plastic ties. <coughs> And then with his knowledge and skill, he's able to tie these together in such a way that this is the system that's used all over China, except for a, a faux bamboo system you sometimes see. But men's lives and the structure of this building initially will be dependent upon the skill they have. It looks flimsy until you realize how incredibly powerful and strong is bamboo. Not to mention those plastic ties, and you can see he has a whole bundle of them. And it's a technique that he uses for tying and then knotting it off. I don't know if they reuse them or not. I've ridden my bike out to Moon Hill, and this is Moon Hill called so because of what we would call an arch, carved probably by wind and water in the past, like Arches or Bridges National Monument. Landschaft läuft bei dir, ne?
他没有线他现在是挂线儿的。拜拜。拜拜。Here you can see that four or five hours later, in that section there, the rebar is in place as well as the internal uh, ribbing, these uh, pieces that you see here. I better show you the inside. Nice bunks, nice stairs, which is rare. Some of them have uh, simply um, little posts like this sitting on a side post that you have to climb up little pieces of two by four. This is very neat. <clears throat> Western style toilet. This is a smart innovation when you leave this unit, you have to take your key, and when you take your key, it turns off everything that's got to do with power. All power goes off. Here I'm on the three-tiered rooftop of my new hostel, which is like $30, 30 UN, which is less than $6, less than $5, actually, because the exchange rate is 6.2 plus. So it's less than five dollars. Here I can look down either into the houses or guest houses of others. Oh, you are a rotten guy, Scott. This is the second level. There's a third level also with a table and um, umbrella awning. You also dry your clothes up. You can see that this is a new building next to me which probably is going to be part of this new building that's being created here that I've showed you earlier. And here's the lower patio. Now, is this too cool or what? And there's the wash area for your clothes. There's a pagoda I hadn't seen before. My ride yesterday took me way off beyond those hills. And my ride today took me behind the ones in front of you now, starting way to the left and then coming out on the right side of those hills into Yang Shuo again. Is this too cool or what? So the first rule of traveling to Guilin is get out of it. I can't think of anything that's terribly redeeming in Guilin or next to it. You've got to get out to see this kind of landscape everywhere. If you just go to Guilin, you didn't see it.
and read for a while with my iPod Touch and Eden Orange, which you can buy around here. I bought something like four or five oranges. These are like giant tangerines. They peel real easily uh, for five UN, which means less than one dollar. Over there, the Lisa, probably a hostel of some sort or hotel. Can you see the bats? At some point each evening, the city, apparently, illuminates all the karst mountains around the city's close perimeter. Isn't that pretty?